Well, I finally decided to get rid of the gutter downspouts that I've had in my yard for a while, and this is what I had. It was just a piece of three inch PVC pipe with an elbow that connected to the downspout here. The problem is it kept washing out all the uh, wood chips that we had here. So what I did is I went to Lowe's and I bought this section of black solid corrugated pipe and I'm gonna connect it to the downspout, bury it just below the surface. And then I bought this section of um, irrigation pipe and it's actually thin, it's not a PVC pipe, but this is solid as well. You can also get them with cuts in them to drain out. And I'm going to connect it to the gutter, bury it, connect that. And at the bottom, I have an elbow and a drain cap so it'll sit flush to the ground. Another option is you can buy this corrugated pipe and you can see that this has drain holes in it, little cuts. This was $35 for a hundred feet. You can also get it with a sock on it, a white sock, and that's another, I think that's like 50 or $55. So for $35, you can get a hundred feet. I'm gonna use this for a different project in the backyard. Otherwise, this would be a good option because you can bend it and twist it. The problem with these straight sections is they're stronger, but you can't bend them. And you can see that I have to go around a bend here and you need that uh, bendability around there, so you don't want to deal with elbows and things like that. So I could have used that pipe over there and just bent it all the way around, bent it up, and then put a cap on it. But I'm just trying to get rid of some sections of pipe that I have. I think this pipe here was about uh, 4 or $5. And this here came very compact. And I think this was around $10, but you can see I have to go a little bit deeper here. There was some rocks and some roots that I've had to cut, and I've had to use a shovel, an axe, and this spud bar here. And I do have a gas line, but I'm assuming that's three or four feet deep. So I'm just going, you know, a couple inches below the surface. I'll backfill it. You can also backfill it with sand or stone if you want. There's actually a lot of stones in here, so I'm gonna backfill it with that. Also, we have clay soils here in Michigan, which does not drain, so you could put sand in here if you wanted, but I'm assuming all the water's gonna go out and up the drain. And we do have a little bit of fall. It's a little bit lower from there to there. You can't go higher, the water won't drain. So it's a little bit lower at that end, so hopefully the water coming out will drain all the way out into the drain. And another thing I wanted to point out was this was a downspout that I did many years ago, and I had to dig under under this sidewalk here, and this was a solid PVC pipe where I had to do an elbow, did underneath, and I did a connection here to a uh, slotted PVC pipe, and here's the drain. And this has worked well. You can see the elbow down in there. And this has worked well, I've had no problems because you can see there's quite a bit of fall from there to there. So the gutter is, you know, half a foot higher, so you gotta make sure there's some fall. But this I use solid PVC because it was a straight shot. Okay, so here's what it looks like a couple hours later. I'm just test fitting it, getting this flush with the ground. There's the straight pipe. And I did have to use a, a little section off that large spool to get it to fit on this uh, graded end. That connects there and you can see all the roots that I had to deal with. This area of soil was good up until here and then it became rocky, hard. This I had to use the spud bar to get this out. This took a lot, a lot of time. And then you can see I'm going to kind of just fit it over the end there. So now I'm just going to backfill it with the soil and put grass seed on it. One more thing I forgot to mention is that this pipe is about uh, three inches, three, four inches, and I, I went down about, I don't know, six or eight inches. So there'll be, you know, three, four inches of soil on top. Okay, and here it is all done. I backfilled all the soil, I put some grass seed down, and I raked it all smooth. And I did leave it a little bit high 
because I expect it to settle a little bit, so I left it a little bit high. Um, in total, it took about two or three hours, and it cost about $20, $25, but it could be cheaper if you only had one section, but I wanted to go all the way out where I knew it was much lower, so that's it. It's a quick uh, afternoon project, and you get rid of those uh, gutter downspots that just end right here, and now the water should hopefully drain all the way out to the end and not be anywhere near the foundation of our house. And again, I expect this might settle a little bit. I might have to come back and put a little dirt, but that's good for now. Well, I hope you liked the video you just watched. If you did, feel free to subscribe by clicking the button on this side. You can also check out all the videos I've done, um, the playlist from things I've built, things I've fixed, home repair, 3D printing. And on this side, you can check out a recommended video similar to the one you just watched. And as always, down in the description, I'll put a link to my blog, which has more pictures and more information about the video you just watched. Thanks.